Okay, I just want to do a quick little video. I watch guys do all sorts of reviews about guns and firearms and what, what to have in a bug out situation or the stuff hit the fan situation, how to carry your ammo and your guns and all this stuff. Um, even talking about, you know, concealed carry, stuff like that, which is all good. I'm I have a few guns. I'm not a gun nut, but I do have some guns and love my guns. But um, there may be videos out there too. I haven't really looked, but I haven't heard a lot of people talk about bow. Bow. I I bow hunt. Um, if I was in a bug out situation or survival situation, I would. As for hunting, I would prefer a bow. Um, for one, is the stealth. Um, arrows are cheap and reusable. I, I mean, I mean, there's so many advantages to a bow. There, I could hunt here in the city. I, actually, I live in the city, but I live on three quarters of an acre, which doesn't really feel like the city until until you hear the sirens at night. But um, I practice shoot out here in the back. Can't do that with a gun. But anyways, you know, in a survival slash bug out situation, you you break your arrows or lose your arrows. You can make more arrows better than you can make more bullets. That's that's just not going to happen in the wild. So. I prefer a bow. This is my second bow. I used to have an old PSE. Um, it just the string was getting stretched out. It was getting weaker and wasn't worth putting any more money into. So I actually gave that to a friend, and because it was given to me, so I passed it on. Um, and I bought this off of eBay for $170. And it's a reflex bow. Got a 70 pound weight with, uh, I believe, 31 inch draw. It's, um, the guy claims he only shot it three times, and I believe him because there's not a scratch on it. Um, from what I read, Reflex is Hoyt's cheaper brand. Um, and Hoyt's one of the top brands. I'm, I don't, I don't get into studying things and get too obsessed with stuff I just I like if it works for me it works I don't really care what how cool it is or whatever but this is a pretty sweet bow I've only shot it once I'm getting ready to shoot it again and adjust my sights he's actually got five yard increments on here and I don't I don't need that um, I like 10 yard I usually set mine at 10 20 and 30 yards or excuse me 20, 30, and 50 is what I usually set mine at. But I don't think I'm going to do 50 this time around. I think I'll do 40. I would never want to take a shot at 50 yards unless I had to. Um, if you get good enough, you know, you can shoot small game with these. You can shoot rabbits. You can shoot birds. Um, in a bug out situation, I don't know that I'd even want to shoot a deer. Um, unless I was well prepared for meat preservation and stuff like that or if I had a lot of people in my party to feed then I would think about shooting something bigger but but again I just haven't seen any videos and I haven't looked but I just thought I'd do a quick one about having a bow I I, I just I can't see any reason why you wouldn't in a bug out situation it just makes so much more sense to me um, like I said worst comes to worst you can make arrows um, Native Americans did it for centuries all Nate you know most natives to any continent or region use bows and arrows um, they're just I don't know what else I can say I would love though I would really like to add a longbow to my collection uh, just a simple longbow because if this was to break out in a bug out situation 
it would be pretty tough to repair. Um, a long bow is nice and simple. Um, so that's definitely something I'm going to add later. Um, and as I said in a video, another video, I'm going to make a mount for my mountain bike for hunting. I want to start using my bike, cover more ground. So anyways, yep, I think this would be a great bug out weapon for any situation or self-reliance or even just fun practice. It's one of the most primitive weapons, you know, over, over the history of man. And it's obviously evolved. It's pretty, this is pretty modern. It's about as modern as they get, but. Um, I love it. I think it'll work out great. I can't wait to shoot a deer with it this year. And I'm going to go and get some practice in.